All right, to get started, I just added two clips to my timeline that I like to add my transition between. Let's begin by going over to the effects panel and type transform into the search box. You'll see the transform effect under distort. Drag it onto both of your clips. Then make sure your first clip is selected on the timeline and go up to effect controls. In here, move the playhead to the last frame of your first clip. It'll show the second clip in the preview, but that's okay. Before we continue, I'm just going to zoom into my keyframe panel so you can see what I'm doing better. Okay, now down here, you'll see the transform effect you added. First, increase its scale to 175. And then click the stopwatch, which will create a keyframe at the playhead's position. Now, use the left arrow key on your keyboard to move the playhead four frames back. Then click this arrow button to reset the scale back to 100, and it'll also create a second keyframe. Now when I play this back, our first clip zooms in. To add blur to your zoom, uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle, and then change the shutter angle to 360, which will give you the most blur. Alright, now we have some blur on our zoom in. So let's go ahead and select the second clip on the timeline to start working on the zoom out. In Effect Controls, move the playhead to the first frame of your second clip. And like before, I'm going to zoom in so we can see our keyframes clearly. Under Transform, set the scale to 150, and click the stopwatch to create a keyframe at the playhead's position. Use your keyboard's right arrow key to move the playhead forward 4 frames, then click the Reset button to set the scale back to 100 and create a second keyframe. For the blur, be sure to uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle and change the shutter angle to 360. Okay, now our transition not only zooms in, but zooms out as well. To smooth out the zoom, make sure your first clip is selected on the timeline, and in Effect Controls, you'll want to zoom into your keyframes so you can see them. Then drag to select your two keyframes, right-click them, and select Ease Out. Then select your second clip and zoom into your keyframes. Then right-click your selected keyframes, but this time, select Ease In. Okay, I really like how smooth this looks, and I'm happy with the end result. However, if you wanted to change the speed of the zoom, you could do that just by moving the second keyframe of either clip closer or further to the first keyframe. Alright, and that's all from me, so thanks for watching, and see you next time.